Hi, it's Rex by the way. We've all been in situations where the internet just drags. It's super frustrating when you're trying to load a website or stream a video, and things move painfully slow. But don't worry, today I'll be sharing some neat tricks using the command prompt that can help you boost your internet speed. These steps are simple yet effective. If you're someone who experiences lag or slow downloads, these commands might just be the quick fix you need. Without further delay, let's jump right in. Step 1. Checking your internet speed via ping. First off, it's important to check whether the issue lies with your device or your connection. We'll do this by sending a ping packet to your default gateway. To start, you'll need to open the command prompt. You can easily do this by clicking on your Windows search bar, typing CMD, and once it appears, right-click on it to run as administrator. It's crucial to run it as an admin, otherwise, you won't have the necessary permissions for some commands. Once the command prompt is open, type this command, ipconfigall. Then hit enter. What this command does is show you detailed information about your network adapters. Now, this may look like a lot of confusing numbers and letters, but all you need to do is find the network adapter you're currently using. If you're on Wi-Fi, look for the Wi-Fi adapter, if you're on Ethernet, look for the Ethernet adapter. Once you find it, look for something labeled as default gateway. This is your router's IP address, the main point that connects your device to the internet. Take note of this IP address, and now we'll use a ping command to check the connection quality. Type ping t default gateway's IP address. For example, if your default gateway is 192.168.1.1, the command will be ping t192.168.1.1. Hit enter, and you'll start receiving replies from your router. You'll notice the response time, or the time field, in milliseconds. The lower the time, the better. Ideally, you should see one millisecond or something similarly low. If the response time is consistently high or fluctuating, your connection might be unstable, and that could be contributing to slow speeds. If you're seeing something like 50 milliseconds or above, it might be time to check with your ISP. Step 2. Renew your IP address. Next, let's move on to temporarily boosting your connection if you're using Wi-Fi. Sometimes, refreshing your IP address can give your connection a noticeable improvement. First, type the command, IP config release. What this command does is release the current IP address assigned to your network. Essentially, it tells your router, I don't need this IP anymore. Once that's done, you'll notice your connection will drop momentarily. Don't worry. Now, to get a fresh IP address, type IP config renew. This will prompt your router to assign your device a brand new IP address. This trick works particularly well for Wi-Fi users who feel like their connection speed has slowed down over time. By releasing and renewing the IP, you're getting a fresh connection, which can sometimes resolve speed issues. However, keep in mind that this won't work as effectively if you're using a wired Ethernet connection, as it primarily benefits Wi-Fi users. Step 3. Flushing the DNS cache. Now let's clear the DNS cache. Over time, your device stores DNS information, which helps in converting website addresses into IP addresses. While this can speed up loading times for frequently visited sites, it can sometimes get clogged or outdated, slowing down your browsing. To clear this cache, type the command, ipconfig flushes. When you hit enter, the DNS cache will be cleared. You might notice a slight delay the next time you visit a website as your computer rebuilds the cache, but once it does, pages should load faster. This command is especially useful if you've been facing issues like websites not loading properly or long waits for pages to start loading. Step 4. Optimizing TCP Receive Window Auto-Tuning Next up, we're going to make sure that your TCP Receive Window Auto-Tuning is set to the correct level. This feature helps your system manage how much data it can receive from the internet at one time, so optimizing it can help speed up downloads and general internet performance. First type, Netch Interface TCP Show Global. Hit enter, and you'll see a list of settings. Look for receive window auto-tuning level. What we're aiming for here is for the auto-tuning level to be set to normal. If it's already set to normal, great. But if not, you'll need to change it. To do this, type netch interface TCP set global auto-tuning level equals normal. Hit enter and you should see a message saying OK, confirming that the setting has been changed. This adjustment can have a significant impact on your internet speed, especially for activities that involve downloading large files. Step 5. Disabling Windows Scaling Heuristics Now, there's a feature called Windows Scaling Heuristics that can sometimes limit your internet speed without you even realizing it. 
This setting tries to optimize your connection based on certain parameters, but in reality, it can end up slowing things down. So, we want to disable it. To check its status, type, Netch Interface TCP Show Heuristics. If it shows as enabled, we need to turn it off. To do that, type the following command, Netch Interface TCP Set Heuristics Disabled. Once again, you should see an OK message, confirming the change. Disabling heuristics helps ensure that your system is not unnecessarily throttling your connection, giving you the full speed potential of your internet plan. Step 6. Boosting streaming speed. Lastly, if you've noticed that your internet is generally fine, but when you try to stream videos or play games, things start lagging. Your internet service provider might be throttling your connection. Throttling often happens during high bandwidth activities like streaming or gaming, but we can bypass this using a firewall rule. Here's the command you need to run. What this command does is create a rule in your Windows firewall to stop your ISP from throttling your connection during these activities. You should see the message OK, which means the rule has been applied successfully. And that's it. By running these simple commands, you can give your internet a much needed boost. Whether you're streaming, gaming, or just browsing, these tricks should help improve your overall experience. After applying these commands, don't forget to restart your computer to see the full effects. If you tried these steps, let me know in the comments if they worked for you. And as always, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, with all due respect, love your parents, and take care of yourselves, see you in another video, bye for now. Oh yeah, here are some videos, might be useful for you, so you can check them out.